August 30th of this year, a movie is going to be released featuring Dennis Quaid, and it's going to be called Reagan. I talked about it on my main account a little bit more. And somebody in the comments over there stated, do you think that they're going to put Ronald Reagan's UFO encounter in there? And I was like, what? And I had to go look it up because I was intrigued. The timing of this movie being released three months before Election Day, as well as the admission and constant babble from our government about extraterrestrial beings, UAPs as they want you to call them now to be inclusive. So back when Ronald Reagan was governor, he was getting on a Cessna plane and he was flying out to like a campaign rally. And while in the air, he looked out his window and he saw an orb in which elongated and then got short again and then took off at top-notch speed. The was corroborated with his Air Force pilot, Colonel Bill Painter. Later on in an interview when he was asked if Reagan really believed in UFOs, he said, well, you would believe too if you saw what we saw. Reagan was super excited when he got off the plane. He was like, oh my God, I saw a UFO. It was incredible. He wanted to tell everybody. He wanted to go public. He wanted to talk about it. The people that surrounded him encouraged him not to because obviously that was a very taboo subject for the time. When he eventually did become president, again, Again, he kept bringing it up. He wanted to go public with it. He wanted to talk about it. Again, the people that were surrounding him were like, dude, this is not a good idea. Do you know what Ronald Reagan did? He fucking did it anyway. In 1987, when addressing the United Nations General Assembly in New York, perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Now, what's even more interesting is before he gave that speech, apparently his director of CIA took him out. This was after he won the White House, took him out of the White House, took him out to Camp David, sat him down, gave him some documents and was like, listen, we need you to understand that there are extraterrestrials, there are aliens, there are beings that are already here and they've been here a really long time. And he was like, oh, snap. Reagan wasn't the only president that experienced this kind of rhetoric. This is probably one of my favorite stories of the whole time when it comes to presidents. President D. Eisenhower, he got on a plane and they decided they were going to go on vacation. And while he was on vacation, one night he just disappeared. Nobody knew where he went. Nobody could find him. Point to where the next morning when the papers were getting ready to go out, they were printing off stories that he could be dead. Because back then, you know, whatever. But right before the administration was set to have their big daily morning meeting to discuss everything that was going on, Eisenhower just kind of walked in the door. Like, what's up, losers? You miss me? And the whole room was like a gasp. He was like, you know what? It's not a big deal. I just popped a cap off this tooth. I had to go to emergency dentist. Sorry, I didn't tell you. We don't have cell phones right now. And the people were like, oh, bet. Okay. And later at some kind of fundraising event or some, some kind of fancy schmancy event, the the dentist's wife was there and somebody had asked her, hey, what was it like for your husband to be working on the president? And apparently at the time she looked kind of like, what? Almost kind of shocked. And she, she kind of stumbled and mumbled a little bit. And then she, I guess, just walked away. Much, 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 much later on down the road, one of Eisenhower's cabinet members was on his deathbed. And he was like, hey, listen, I gotta, I gotta tell you a story. And the story goes that he didn't actually go to the dentist. He went and met with extraterrestrials at Edwards Air Force Base. And the extraterrestrials' names were the Nordics because they resembled the Scandinavian humans with their white hair, pale blue eyes, and colorless lips. They wanted to talk to Ike, the, the extraterrestrials did. They want to talk to Ike because they wanted him to get rid of the nuclear bombs. He was like, bro, no, I'm not going to do that. And they were like, well, what if we give you all of this extra technology, like MRIs and all this other cool shit? And Ike was like, nah, because if we give up our nukes and then you guys decide to nuke us, then we're hoes. And the aliens were like, fine, fuck off. But then later, he met with another set of extraterrestrial beings. He would actually allow them to capture earthling cattle and humans for medical purposes if they returned the humans safely home. Since then, these conspiracy theorists claim millions of humans have been kidnapped and many will never return. I want to say that I read somewhere else that those were like the greys. They were the grey aliens. So essentially, they made the same pact. They gave us a bunch of technology and, and promised not to hurt the people or the cows. But then they reneged on that contract and made a bunch of people disappear. And obviously, the cows didn't come out so fair either. In my opinion, the aliens don't necessarily come from other planets or outer space. I think this is more of an interdimensional thing after researching a bunch on it. Like they come in and out of dimensions. Yes, I do believe it's real. I think you're naive to think that we're just the sole species out here. Far be it the smartest. Because if that's the case, we're in deep shit. And I believe and I have read that the government has had packs with these extraterrestrial beings for a very, 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 very long time. That a lot of them are here and they just walk around. Like you don't even know them. I bet you could spot them now though. I'm just saying.